everybody, how you doing? My name is Nick and in today's video I'm going to show you how to take a Google font like this and put it into your Shopify theme to use wherever you'd like. Let's get started. Now there's two main ways that you can add a custom font to your theme. One is by using a CDN which Google makes really easy and I'll show you right now. All you do is click into embed code and you just have to add this group of links right here, these link tags, and you're just going to add them into your head of your theme. So I'm going to copy this code, and within my theme store, I'm going to come into theme.liquid, and in this head, I'm going to paste it right here. And now if I save and preview, I should be able to add this as I wish. I'm going to open up the image banner to test this on and I'm going to find where we have our heading which I think is right here awesome and I'm just going to apply a style right here and it is going to be font family let's see whisper font family whisper And if I save and preview, we should be able to see it. All right, so as you can see, here is our data. Now, let's talk about the other way that you can add this in, and that's by self-hosting it on Shopify. And there's some pros and cons of doing it um, this way versus self-hosting it, but let me show you how to do that first. So if we go back to Google Fonts and you'll see there's an option to download. So if we download this, it's going to give us a TTF file. Now, I wasn't able to get Shopify to work correctly with a TTF file, so I ended up having to convert it to a WAF. So let me show you how to do that. If I come in here, I want Whisper. And I'm gonna convert it to WAF2 and just convert like this. And I found this site just by Googling TTF2 WAF2 Converter. And now if I download this, I should be able to come into my Shopify dashboard and I'm gonna to go to Content, Files, and I'm going to add a file here. Uh, not that one. Here it is, Whisper Regular WAF2. All right, and now once that is added, I'm going to go into my back into my theme. And within the theme.liquid, because I want this to be available everywhere, I'm going to create a style tag. And then I'm going to paste in some code. I am going to paste in this code right here, but I'm going to change this to be Whisper. And I'm going to add it here as well. Okay, so you'll see in this tag, it's a font face, which tells the style sheet that we want to import this, uh, this font from this location. Now this URL is to a file URL because we just added it to our content files and we're telling it the format is in WAF2. So now if I add it here and I'm going to remove my CDN import otherwise it would work regardless. So let me get rid of this. And if I go back to my... It's not working and let me check why. The reason it wasn't working is because you'll see it's whisper regular and I did just whisper. So if I come back uh, to my theme and I need to do whisper regular. And also if I come back here, I'm going to add it here as well. All right, let's try this. There we go. So now you can see that this font is being applied. Uh, so there was 
the first way where we did a Google CDN, which means that Google is hosting this file and we are telling the style sheet to import it from there. Um, and then this self-hosted way where we put it within our Shopify files. Now there's pros and cons to both. Um, I personally like having it self-hosted, although Google is a very reliable CDN. In fact, I think Shopify's ecosystem is actually built on Google Cloud, so um, it's not really a sacrifice. But Shopify handles a lot of CDN um, and, and file serving for us using their own infrastructure, which is really good. So I prefer to have it local myself. Let me know if you have any questions, thoughts, or comments, and uh, stay tuned for our next video on Shopify development. Take care.